It's three minute Thursday. Hey, welcome back to the channel. My name's Gary. This is Rami. I'm a psychiatrist. <laughs> Hey, welcome back to the channel. My name's Gary, this is Rami. I'm a cybersecurity professional by day. This guy's a teddy bear by day. Okay, go chase squirrels. Good boy. Today, I'm gonna show you around something called Shodan. We're all used to using Google, Bing, nah. Maybe if you saw my last video, you've done some Google dorking where you can find some stuff on the internet that you shouldn't be able to find. But Shodan is a different beast altogether. So let's put three minutes on the clock and let's roll. Before I show you the tool, I want you to think of Shodan as being like Nmap if it was a company. I've showed Nmap many times before on the channel. I'll put some links below. Shodan scans the internet all the time. I'm not sure in the frequency, but it may as well be all the time. And they take those results and they make them available to you on Shodan.io. So here's the platform. Along the top here, you can see you got these little things like maps, images, monitor, developer, and more. These are the common tools that people use on Shodan, but if you click the more button, you'll actually get a little bit of a breakdown into other things that they do. So here's core products trends and the help center. There's also developer services, enterprise stuff for companies, and research as well. There's even this really cool Shodan 2000 website that lets you explore the internet like it was the year 2000. Pretty cool. So let's have a look at what Shodan shows us because that's probably the easiest way to show you what Shodan does. I'm just gonna click on images at the top. These are remote desktop sessions that are available over the open internet. That's right. You know the way when you go to work these days, you just open your laptop and you log into a virtual machine somewhere? Well, it's kind of like that. These are computers that people have made accessible over the internet via RDP, remote desktop protocol. But also you can see webcams. Here's a webcam. This is a little bit creepy because that's a sofa. Is that a blanket on the sofa? Yeah, look, there's a little old lady sat there on the sofa. There's her head. Is she knitting or something? I can see like a bar sticking down here. She must be knitting herself a blanket. You go, girl. There could be so many reasons why there is a camera potentially in Italy somewhere watching a little old lady sewing a nice blanket on her sofa. This could be a service run by a company, for example, that keeps an eye on old people for their safety, and they might not know that they have exposed this to the entire internet with whatever setup they have. That could be one explanation to this. And I hope now you can see the usefulness of Shodan if you're a company or a security researcher or even an OSINT person, there's great value in exploring the web like this. You can find amazing things. You can also find creepy things. I'm just gonna have a look through some of these remote desktop sessions. Ooh, what's this? This is what makes Shodan so fun. You just wanna like click through and look at everything. Does that look like maybe a mechanical arm that picks things off a shelf, like medicine maybe? This could be medicine, chilled medicine in a refrigerated container. I see the number one and two on the roof. Yeah, you definitely got this robotic-y arm kind of thing that can move up and down. That's quite cool, isn't it? But what I'm looking for here is something maybe like this. Okay, so this is a remote desktop session here. And if we just zoom in, you can see Frank Sabina Shu, brackets B-L-O something, and then Werner Winter. Those are all very Googleable terms. You could certainly search a couple of these together like Sabina Shu and Werner Winter on Google. Let's see if we can find anything. There is this. Okay, that is a real person with a real profile. Very interesting. And the other one was Werner Winter. Pop that in. Werner Winter. Let's search them together. Okay, I can't find it. I'm not gonna waste your time here. You can see where I'm going with this. 
opportunistic hackers, people who just want to play around, maybe cause some trouble, ransomware gangs, script kiddies, grey hat hackers who are on the fence, can just come to Shodan, look around, find usernames, try and socially engineer some phishing emails, try and directly attack those remote desktop sessions, so many things. And these images are just one part of Shodan. You can set up Shodan monitoring for your entire network and it'll constantly monitor the internet for vulnerabilities and things and compare it to your network. That's cool. You can also view it by maps. I wouldn't recommend viewing it by maps. It's not like every single device in the world has like a GPS connection and that is the exact location of it, but it can be useful if you just wanna narrow something down or you're doing an investigation that warrants it. If you look up at the top here in the Shodan homepage, you got this search box. They do have their own search query type language. You can get some examples here, hostname, google.com or facebook.com, for example. You can also search for things like websites that are running Apache in their HTML. If we just quickly do a search for that one. Here we go. You can see 3,700,000 entries all across the world. And then it lists the IP addresses and all the useful things. This is the type of thing that cyber threat researchers do. They search the internet when a new bug comes out. Let's say it's some zero day in some software. They then search for that software on Shodan and it gives them an idea as to the scale of the problem. It might just be there's six devices exposed in the world or six million in the case of bigger problems. So look, that's a very quick overview of Shodan. Top tip. Wait until Black Friday, Cyber Monday, because I believe every year they do a $5 lifetime membership deal. You get an API key, you can connect that into Multigo so that you can search Shodan from Multigo. Super useful. I have a Multigo video, I'll link to that below. Also, you're probably wondering what's inside this. You getting that? Comment below. I'll do an unboxing video soon. See you next week.